For example, imagine for a moment if you came over to our house one night. You came over, we were just having you over, and you walked inside, and right there on the front table, there was a beautiful picture of our girls. There's a picture frame. You go up, but instead of it smiling in them, what are they doing? They're having a temper tantrum. Friends, you ever been over to somebody's house before, and they had pictures of their kids and grandkids looking like that? No, they're always smiling, right? We don't show the moments where they're having the temper tantrums. Or how about this? Let's say you're scrolling through Facebook and take a look. All of a sudden, you come from a, a post from me that says, in the middle of a really nasty argument with my wife, and it's not going well, please send help, prayers up. <laughs> Some of you are going to go on Facebook and see if that's actually there. Yeah. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen somebody take a selfie before in the middle of an argument then talking about, hey, my, my, my wife and I or my husband and I, we're, we're fighting right now and it's really nasty? Actually, some of you might have seen somebody do that before. Or how about this one? Let's say you get a text message from my wife. Take a look, and it says this. Guess what movie Chris is watching tonight? <laughs> you see, friends, these are the parts of our lives that we don't want people to see. And yet the reality is that our girls, they do have temper tantrums from time to time. My wife and I, we do get into arguments from time to time. I may or may not watch a Hallmark Channel movie from time to time. All of these things are real things. And yet at the end of the day, these are not the things that we want people to see. Now, Jesus isn't calling on us to just let everything all hang out and show our baggage to all the world. But in the case of the Pharisees, and in our case too, he is calling on us to acknowledge the fact that behind our persona, behind our image, behind our highlight reel is a sinful person who is in desperate need of a savior. You remember what the apostle John said? He said, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. In other words, the first step in this process is acknowledging the fact that the shiny image that we portray to others is not always an accurate and faithful portrayal of who we really are. You see, all of us here today in person and online, if, if we keep acting and pretending like everything is good, we're never going to be able to help and support each other in whatever it is that we're doing. Or to put it in terms of us as a church, it's hard to be a hospital when we're constantly acting like a museum. 